Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of wellness and nutrition. My name is Nikolai Ninov, and I am a certified food expert and pharmacist. Today, we are talking about the hyperinsulinemia, the real cause of metabolic syndrome development. In this video, we will take a closer look at the components of metabolic syndrome and the role of sugar and insulin in each one. You will learn how hyperinsulinemia contributes to visceral obesity, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, and high blood sugar. Most importantly, you will understand the steps you can take to improve your metabolic health and reduce the risk of developing metabolic syndrome. Are you ready to discover the true cause of metabolic syndrome and take steps to manage it? Continue watching to learn more. Understanding Metabolic Syndrome Metabolic syndrome is a serious health issue affecting millions of people worldwide. It is distinguished by a group of risk factors that increase the likelihood of developing cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, and stroke. But what exactly causes metabolic syndrome? According to Dr. Jason Fung, an expert in metabolic disorders, the answer lies in a condition called hyperinsulinemia. Hyperinsulinemia is a state of chronically high insulin levels in the blood, leading to a cascade of metabolic disturbances. But how does hyperinsulinemia occur? Consuming too much sugar and refined carbohydrates is the answer. When you eat foods high in sugar, your body releases large amounts of insulin to process the sudden influx of glucose in the blood. The pancreas produces insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels and energy storage. Insulin rises when you consume carbohydrates and sugars, transporting glucose from the blood to the cells for energy production ATP. Over time, constant exposure to high insulin levels can lead to insulin resistance, a condition where the body's cells become less sensitive, resistant to insulin's action. Insulin resistance forces the pancreas to produce even more insulin to maintain normal blood sugar levels. This vicious cycle of high insulin levels and insulin resistance is at the core of the metabolic syndrome. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2020 shows that a chronic high intake of sugar and refined carbohydrates is directly linked to the development of hyperinsulinemia and insulin resistance. The study found that participants consuming a high sugar diet had significantly higher fasting insulin levels compared to those on a balanced diet. But how exactly does hyperinsulinemia contribute to the individual components of the metabolic syndrome? The connection between hyperinsulinemia and components of metabolic syndrome. Hyperinsulinemia plays a key role in each component of the metabolic syndrome. High insulin levels stimulate fat accumulation, especially visceral fat around abdominal organs. Insulin resistance leads to elevated blood sugar levels and the development of type 2 diabetes. Hyperinsulinemia also suppresses fat breakdown, leading to high triglycerides and low HDL cholesterol levels. Additionally, high insulin levels cause the body to retain water, increasing blood volume and blood pressure. Why is it important to address hyperinsulinemia? Understanding how hyperinsulinemia plays a central role in metabolic syndrome is critical for effectively managing this condition. By focusing on the primary cause, high insulin levels, you can take steps to improve insulin sensitivity and break the vicious cycle of metabolic disturbances. This involves lifestyle changes such as reducing the consumption of refined carbohydrates, sugar, and high fructose corn syrup in favor of a balanced diet rich in whole foods and regular physical activity. Only by addressing hyperinsulinemia can you reduce the risk of developing metabolic syndrome and its associated health complications. Metabolic Syndrome, Key Components Now that you understand what metabolic syndrome is, let's take a closer look at the five key components that characterize it. Each of these components is a health risk factor on its own, but when they appear together, they form a powerful cluster known as metabolic syndrome. Here's what you need to know about each one. Number one, visceral obesity. High insulin levels closely correlate with visceral obesity. It is characterized by fat accumulation around abdominal organs and is a key component of metabolic syndrome. Visceral obesity differs from general obesity in that its measurement is based on waist circumference, which is over 102 centimeters for men and over 88 centimeters for women. 
This type of obesity is particularly dangerous as it is associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular diseases. A study published in the European Heart Journal in 2019 found that visceral obesity is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, even in people with normal body weight. The study showed that individuals with visceral obesity have a 50% higher risk of developing cardiovascular diseases compared to those without visceral obesity. Number two, high blood sugar or type two diabetes. High blood sugar levels indicate type 2 diabetes and are another critical component of the metabolic syndrome. Insulin resistance, a condition where the body's cells become less sensitive to insulin, leads to elevated blood sugar levels. This condition is mainly due to excessive sugar and refined carbohydrate intake, which causes chronic hyperinsulinemia. Number 3. Elevated triglyceride levels in the blood. High triglyceride levels in the blood are another marker for metabolic syndrome. The liver transforms excess carbohydrates into fats, and very low-density lipoproteins, VLDL, transport these triglycerides to fat cells and other abdominal organs in the bloodstream. Studies such as the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, and AIMS, show a clear link between added sugar intake and elevated triglyceride levels in the blood. The more sugar you consume, the higher the risk of high triglyceride levels. This is a direct consequence of the body's ability to convert excess sugar into fat. According to data from NAIN's 2015-2016 published in the Journal of the American Heart Association, participants with the highest added sugar intake, over 20% of total calorie intake, had 38% higher triglyceride levels compared to those with the lowest intake, less than 5% of total calorie intake. Number four, low HDL cholesterol levels. High triglyceride levels are associated with lower levels of good HDL cholesterol. Low HDL levels are a characteristic component of metabolic syndrome and are associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. HDL cholesterol, often called good cholesterol, helps remove excess cholesterol from the blood. It is essential in moving cholesterol from the arteries to the liver where the body can eliminate it. In metabolic syndrome, High triglyceride levels activate a protein called cholesterol ester transfer protein, CETP, which lowers HDL levels. CETP is a protein that plays a role in lipid exchange between different lipoproteins. At high triglyceride levels, this protein becomes more active. CETP transfers cholesterol esters from HDL to other lipoproteins, such as LDL and VLDL. This process leads to a reduction in HDL levels in the blood. Consequences of low HDL levels Low HDL levels are problematic because HDL plays a key role in removing excess cholesterol from the body. When HDL levels are low, cholesterol can accumulate in the arteries, leading to atherosclerosis, which is plaque buildup that narrows and hardens the arteries. Over time, this can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and other serious complications. Number five, high blood pressure, hypertension. High blood pressure is another key component of the metabolic syndrome. Elevated insulin levels cause the body to retain water, increasing blood volume and pressure. Studies show that people with the highest insulin levels have nearly twice the risk of developing high blood pressure and cardiovascular problems compared to those with the lowest insulin levels. A study published in Hypertension in 2018 found that individuals with the highest fasting insulin levels have a twofold increased risk of developing hypertension compared to those with the lowest insulin levels even after adjusting for other risk factors such as age, gender, and body mass index. The role of diet in hyperinsulinemia and metabolic syndrome. What you eat has a significant impact on insulin levels and the risk of metabolic syndrome. Excessive intake of refined carbohydrates and added sugar is a major factor contributing to hyperinsulinemia. When you consume foods high in sugar, your blood sugar spikes rapidly causing the pancreas to produce large amounts of insulin to lower it. Hyperinsulinemia directly develops when people regularly consume sugary drinks, candies, pastries, and processed foods high in sugar. Conversely, foods with a low glycemic index, such as vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and healthy fats have a less pronounced effect on insulin levels. These foods digest more slowly and release glucose into the blood gradually, thereby lowering the need for high insulin levels. Shifting to a diet rich in whole, unprocessed foods can help regulate insulin levels 
and reduce the risk of hyperinsulinemia. Particularly harmful is fructose, a type of sugar found in many processed foods and sweetened beverages. Unlike glucose, fructose is primarily metabolized by the liver. Excessive fructose intake leads to fat accumulation in the liver, causing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, and insulin resistance. This, in turn, raises insulin levels and promotes the development of metabolic syndrome. Managing Metabolic Syndrome Practical Recommendations Now that you understand the role of hyperinsulinemia in the development of metabolic syndrome, here are some practical recommendations for managing it. Number one, reduce your carbohydrate and sugar intake. Limiting refined carbohydrates and added sugars is key to controlling insulin levels. Focus on whole unprocessed foods like vegetables, healthy fats, and quality proteins. Number two, practice intermittent fasting. Intermittent and longer fasting periods can help reduce insulin resistance and improve insulin sensitivity. Start with a 12-hour eating window and gradually increase the fasting period. Number three, engage in regular physical activity. Exercise is a powerful tool for improving insulin sensitivity and metabolic health. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate physical activity per week or 75 minutes of intense exercise. Number four, manage stress. Chronic stress can elevate insulin levels and contribute to insulin resistance. Find effective stress management strategies such as meditation, deep breathing, or regular yoga practice. Number five, ensure quality sleep. Insulin resistance and metabolic disorders are associated with sleep deprivation. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night and create a relaxing bedtime routine to improve sleep quality. By incorporating these suggestions into your daily routine, you can take control of your metabolic health and reduce the risk of developing serious health complications. Conclusion Metabolic syndrome is a growing health problem affecting millions of people worldwide. However, the good news is that you can take control and reduce the risk of developing this condition. If you suffer from any of the components of metabolic syndrome, such as obesity, high triglycerides, low HDL, high blood pressure, or high blood sugar, it is time to take action. By adopting the simple yet effective lifestyle strategies described above, you can control your health and reduce the risk of developing metabolic syndrome. Remember, small changes over time can lead to significant improvements in your overall health and well-being. Talk to your doctor if you suspect metabolic syndrome or insulin levels. They can help you develop a personalized plan to prevent or manage this condition. Today, take control of your health and take the necessary steps to prevent metabolic syndrome. With the right knowledge and support, you can achieve optimal health and live your life to the fullest.